let's talk about building an empire. If you have a drive to own multiple businesses and grow an empire, then you're not alone. And the wonderful thing is, is that you can do it. You just have to take certain steps to get there. But everybody starts somewhere. Every empire starts at the very bottom. And not everybody starts with hundreds of thousands of dollars inherited to start it. So I know that I've mentioned in the past when I very first started selling on eBay, how I took the last $20 that I had to my name and I bought two big bags of clothing to resell on eBay. Well, that was over a decade ago. What I want to talk about right now is not using your last little bit of grocery money, but starting with zero dollars. Starting with no money, nothing. Starting your empire with zip, zilch, nothing, not a penny. Because you can do it. You can. You simply just need to start with a venture that costs no money to get going. No money out of pocket. And then you take the money that you earn from that and you use it to start building. So two years ago when I came to my husband and I told him that I wanted to get back into selling on eBay, but I didn't just want to fiddle fart around with it. I really wanted to like hit the ground running and grow an eBay empire. And he kind of looked at me like I was just a little bit crazy. And one of the first things that he said was, how much money you want? And when I told him that I wanted $500 out of our account to start it up, he laughed at me. You see, to understand that kind of reaction, you kind of have to know how my husband thinks. My husband's mindset is that he's only ever had a job where you punch in, punch out, you work for somebody else. My husband doesn't really have an entrepreneur mentality, which is fine, not everybody has that. But to him, he saw that just kissing $500 goodbye because he didn't see the potential that I saw. And that was fine. And you know what I saw? I saw an opportunity to prove him wrong. I was determined to prove to him that you could make money from home. And not only could you make money from home, but you could make money from home to start a business. Boom! So I discovered Amazon Mechanical Turk. And if you're curious or you have no idea what that is, there is a video to come of it. So I'll go into that kind of a thing more in depth. But basically the overview of Amazon Mechanical Turk is it's an Amazon forum where people can hire online contract labor to complete tasks. And they're usually really short tasks so you don't make a lot of money doing it unless you do a lot of tasks. So what I did is I signed up for an Amazon Mechanical Turk account, I was approved, and I started working. I started doing things like audio transcription, I started uh, typing copies of old note cards. I started getting paid a little bit here and there. And once I racked up a couple hundred dollars and I showed my husband that yes, I could in fact make money from home where there's a will, there's a way. And we talked and he was convinced. So I used the money that I made from doing online contract labor to start buying merchandise to resell on eBay. And that is how my empire started. Now don't think that that's the only way that you could get started making money from home. There are other ways. You know, you could do things like online surveys, you could get into uh, merch, doing Amazon merch t-shirt designs. However, that is kind of a slow route to getting started because there is such a long approval time for something like that. But the good thing about merch is you don't put a penny into it. You really don't. Uh, the only 
money that you might have to put into something like merch is just having a subscription service to some sort of a graphic design program. Like when I got started with it, I was using PicMonkey and I still pretty much use PicMonkey, which is, you know, $7.99 a month. And so it's a little bit out of pocket, but for the most part, it's $7.99 it's $7 a month and you create as many designs as you want. So it's a little bit out of pocket, but overall, doesn't really cost any money to get going on merch. You could also start by selling things out of your home. You could go room to room and you can pick out things that you're not using and either you could just put those items straight on eBay or you could have a massive garage sale and just pull a whole bunch of stuff out of your own house and sell it all to the locals and then use all of that garage sale money to start your business. Boom, no initial money out of pocket. Could even do things like some house cleaning locally, you could babysit locally, you could check the local buy sell trade page or Craigslist to see if people need help moving and just make some quick money doing something locally and then use that money to start your business and then as you grow just keep putting more money in. But the whole idea is to get some money to start making money and then once you start making money take that money and add it back in or add it to another venture and it's really important in my opinion to really spread it around you don't have to spread it around right when you start but when you start getting some regular income coming in if you start getting some regular profits and you can spare it try spreading it across other areas you know I tend to look at businesses kind of like the stock market. You don't want to put all of your eggs in one basket. You don't want to only be investing in eBay. You want to invest in different areas. You know, I try my best to have some passive income, some sales income, some pay per labor income, but something else that I'm also thinking about, I'm super intrigued, is candy vending machines. And it's amazing how these things happen. It really is. I was just surfing the internet one day and I stumbled across this article about how somebody created their vending machine empire with a $36 bubblegum machine. And when I read that article, I was crazy intrigued. The idea that somebody just bought a $36 gumball machine filled it with gumballs and put it in a restaurant and they just went and collected money every week. I love that. Like, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it so much. That might be my next venture. But am I going to run out and do it right now? Am I going to take all of my money and go spend a thousand dollars on vending machines? No, that would be silly. I'm going to, if I decide to do it, I'm going to build it up like I've built up everything else. You always have to start somewhere. And I personally prefer to start slow because newsflash, not all ventures work out. You see, I'm a realist and I know that not everything I'm going to do is going to be successful. <laughs> That's why I would never go sink thousands of dollars into a venture unless it was a sure thing. So if I do decide that I want to get into the candy vending machine business, I'm probably going to start with one and see how that does. And then maybe I'll add two and then maybe I'll go three and then maybe I'll go five and build it up from there. But I'm not going to sink a whole bunch of money into it if I don't have to which is the beauty of picking ventures that you can start as small as you want and build your way up. And it's going to take time. Nothing happens overnight. You have to start somewhere. And if you don't have thousands of dollars to invest, then you really are starting at the bottom. But you know what? Once you build it up to where you want it to be, you're going to feel so much more successful because you will know that you started with nothing. And the true beauty of being an entrepreneur is knowing that everything is up to you. It's what you decide. You can focus your empire on areas that interest you. You can make those decisions, you can take those risks, and you get all of the rewards, just you. 
I know that we hear the word empire and we think that it's this huge monumental thing. It's a multi-million dollar business. It doesn't have to be. Your empire is whatever you want it to be. So go out there and make your empire. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and let me know. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to me yet, I hope you will. Thank you all again so much for watching. I will see you with my next video. Bye.